Well, on the subject of irrigation, obviously knowing what is under the ground is very, very important, but it's not only just finding it, it can also be used, this new system that we've been highlighting the last couple of weeks, as far as water management is concerned. Well, we were asked to come here because of um, they're breaking the area into blocks um, for other uses as well as for grapes. And um, each block pretty much needs to have its own wine source, I mean, own water source. And as far as they've discovered that for one of their wells, there's interaction between that well and a well on their own property that they need for their grapes. So the idea would be that they need to understand the water underneath the blocks of land so they can put each well in a different water source to give them separate water for each well. And then they're not interacting with each other. And then when they sell a block, they're not selling water that they themselves might need to use. So you're looking at different depths? or They, they are at different depths, but also um, water travels in channels. And so we're looking for different channels the water is travelling mainly towards the river, because the river is the lowest point in an aquifer. So the water is travelling from the box they have further um, south from here towards the river, which is down on some uh, lower levels below us. And so they are looking for channels across the blocks they have, and each one they will intersect with a well, and that's, each water will be independent of each other. You're going to give them a three-dimensional... We're going to give them a three-dimensional map, yes, of what is the underground water they have. And if they're interested later on, we're getting a new tool that will give us a three-dimensional map of the geology underneath them as well. So what, what will this mean? This will mean that they will adjust the height of one of the pumps, two of the pumps, or whatever? This will mean probably they will put in another well to a different water source than the other two. So currently they have two wells that are on the same source of water, so when they pump from one, the other one draws down. But they're going to sell the block with one of those wells on them, which means that someone else essentially has control of the water that they, the one themselves, want to use. So they're going to put in an, probably another well in a different water source so they have independent water from the other block of land. Let's reiterate what you're doing because it, it, it looks exceedingly easy and simple, <laughs> but it's pretty technical. Um, what we're doing simply, as far as the, phys I mean, the physical work involved, is pretty simple. I mean, we're taking recordings of seismic waves coming back to us using essentially uh, an aerial that we're putting in the ground. Um, what is more technical is the software that we're using that we've sourced through a South African um, doctor uh, who specialised in this area, because obviously South Africa has more water issues than we do. But uh, we bring that technology to New Zealand to help with managing water sources um, for property owners. Um, currently water information is really kind of held by ECAN and uh, we are giving that information to property owners so they can manage their land and their water together. It's sort of underground radar. It is an underground radar. Uh, it doesn't use the same wavelengths, it uses seismic wavelengths, but it is essentially looking into the ground, uh, currently specifically for water, but in the future we'll be able to map um, the whole layers underneath the ground up to about 250 metres. You're doing a lot of readings, which means a lot of swinging of a, hem of a hammer. <laughs> um, well, that's just part of the mapping. Um, there are other tools we'll be using that will involve um, using magnetic sources, um, which relate to the different kinds of rocks underneath us, and that'll allow us to much more quickly map an entire area, look for specific channels or uh, faults, and then cite those with the lines that we're doing now. Two-man job, but you're covering a lot of ground in a short time. We're covering a lot of ground in a short time. Um, currently it's a two-man job, but um, a lot of the initial work that we'll do in the future will be very quick, and this will be sitting on the back of an ATV as we drive along. How important is it for the future that people actually have this sort of information? Um, it just changes how you can use your land. Um, it changes the value of your land because you can derive more income from it and anything that is going to have that much of an effect is going to be very important. You would think, I would assume, that you would never buy a block of land unless there's a clause on the sales and purchase agreement that one of your surveys was attached. I think um, people will want to understand their land more um, and this is just another tool for them to judge the value of their land. Until now? We've had nothing apart from wires or... or For more now we've had kind of, we've had wires, but mostly people relied on tradition. So people have said there's no water, so that land is sold as though it has no water. 
and people have said there is tons of water, then that land is sold as well as there's tons of water, and we're going to change that. We're going to give people information that make them know. The accuracy, you're going to end up with people like ECAN and whoever actually knowing what's under there and what the volumes are. Um, volumes is more of a, you're, you're estimating, but you're going to know there's water there and you're going to know where the best water is. Um, that's currently the best we can do. Um, exact estimates of water, you're never going to know completely until you drill a hole, but we're going to tell you where the best hole to drill is. And we will guarantee that if we're saying there's no water, there's no water. Which means it's pointless drilling a hole there, but they say they are about 98% accurate, so you'll be wanting to check their phone number out at the end of the programme.